good morning everyone as in the previous topic we have discussed like uh, how to perform binary addition as well as the binary subtraction now move forward to the next topic that is complements so what do you mean by this complement and uh, why do we use it so basically complements uh, are the part of like digital computers okay and uh, these uh, number of complements are used in digital electronics for for performing the binary subtraction process as i have told you that uh, before uh, going into the complement part or complement heading we will do the binary subtraction because it is mandatory to uh, to uh, study the binary subtraction before learning the complement okay so basically in case of digital electronics there are two types of complements the first one is r's complement and the next one is r minus 1's complement so basically r's complement stands for radix complements and the r minus 1's complements is known as the diminished radix components so basically in detail i'll tell you that how to process these complements and uh, how many types of complements are there basically uh, i think uh, you have studied about like two's complement one's complement nine's complement eight's complement so what are these and how to find it so uh, basically in today's video lecture i'll tell you about that what do you mean by complements then what are some binary complements so basically in today's video lecture we will discuss about binary complements okay so let us move forward like uh, we will discuss ones complement as well as the twos complement so basically these ones complement and twos complement uh, twos com uh, complement comes under binary complement just uh, mention it just uh, remind it that ones complement and twos complement comes under binary complement so we will discuss it today so first of all what do you mean by complement so complement uh, like as uh, i have told you that complements are in digital electronics are used in digital computers in order to simplify the subtraction operation and for logical manipulation so for each radix system or you can say radix means r, r stands for radix so it represents the base of number system and uh, there are two types of complements if we talk about like uh, in digital computer then we are having two types of complement so if we are talking about binary complement that means in case of binary complement as we know that the base is 2 that means the r's complement is 2's complement and r minus 1's complement means 1's complement okay so complement the first type of complement is radix component which is known as r's complement and uh, this radix complement is referred to as the r's complement as i have mentioned in this table also i think uh, you are not having any kind of confusion within this okay so let us move forward then the next type of complement which is defined in digital electronics basically this is one subject which you will study in the next semester and it is one of the important part it is one of the core subject of your computers so uh, before proceeding uh, to the numerical part or to the numerical number system you should know that what exactly the complements are so that is why i am telling you that uh, what exactly these complements like r's complement na minus was complement so the first complement i have discussed with you people now the second type of complement is r minus 1's complement that is known as diminished radix complement means the diminished radix complement is referred to as r minus 1's complement as i have told you again and again so this stands for r minus 1's complement so if i am talking about binary complement if i am talking about binary complement then in case of binary the base is 2 that means the radix complement will be 2's complement 
because you are saying r's complement that means it will be 2's complement and the diminished radix component will be uh, r minus 1's complement that means 1's complement done i think it is uh, clear to everyone okay so now move forward to the binary system complement as i have saying again and again that binary system complement are having like two types of complements the first one is two's complement and the one's complement so as the binary system has base uh, two so the two types of complements for the binary system are two's complement as well as one's complement so just uh, come to the next uh, complement that is one's complement because uh, before going or before performing the two's complement i think this will be the simple process like first of all uh, you just perform the one's complement then only you can get the like two's complement so basically this one's complement of a binary number is another binary number which is obtained by toggling all the bits in it means what you have to do for example you are having one binary number that is 101 okay you are having one number one binary number that is 101 so you have to toggle these digits means you have to reverse these digits if one means one will be changed into zero and the zero digit will be changed into one so that is it which you have to do or which you have to perform in one's complement okay i think this is clear to everyone like what you have to do in case of one's complement okay basically if you are having like one digit that is zero so you have to convert it into one and the one bit will be converted into zero so that is it which you have to perform and this is called as taking the complement or it is known as one's complement done so let us take one example of one's complement like how to perform this one's complement so i'm just uh, showing you one example of it like like you are having one binary number that is 0111 okay this is one binary number and if you want to find the ones complement of this number then what you have to do what is the procedure that you have to change or you have to reverse these digits into the opposite one okay that means this one will be converted into like this zero will be converted into one done and this one will be converted into zero then the next digit that is one will be converted into zero again and the last digit that is again one it will be converted into zero that means the ones complement of this number will be 1000 i think this is uh, one easy process for you people okay so let us take one more example so that uh, it will be more clear to everyone like if you want to find out the ones complement of 1101 no uh, sorry 1100 this is one another number and you have to find the ones complement of this number so basically what you have to do the procedure says that you just toggle these digits okay means you just reverse these digits that means this one will be converted into zero then the next digit that is one it will again converted into zero then the next digit zero will be converted into one and the next digit that is zero it will also converted into one hope this is clear to everyone now i'm just giving some examples of ones complement and you have to solve it like if you want to understand with the help of one figure then you can uh, like understand it like this is one given number that is 10101 this is one another number which i have taken basically this is one third example this is third example of ones complement you are having one binary number that is 10101 this is a given number and you want to convert it into ones complement or suppose in exam there is one question that you just convert this number into ones complement 
so what you will do you will toggle these digits no that means you will uh, like find the reverse of these digits of the this given number so basically this one will be converted into zero then this zero will be converted into one one will be converted into zero and zero will be converted into one and one uh, this is the next digit it will be converted into zero so that is it which you have to perform for finding out the ones complement done i think now this is clear to everyone like how to find the ones complement of any of the number okay so that means now i can give you some practice questions so that you can perform it in your uh, rough notebook also and if you want to note it down in your fair notebook then you can do so means it's your uh, like uh, choice what you want to do so basically i'm giving you some practice questions like uh, the first question uh, uh, is like you have to convert this ones complement uh, of this number like 0 1 1 1 so what you will do you will convert these digits so the answer will be like 1 0 0 0 1 okay this is the second digit then third digit fourth and fifth so these are the number of digits binary digits basically and you have to convert into ones complement so you will get the answers like this if you will uh, like solve it then you will get the answer like this this is the uh, ones complement of these numbers okay so what you do you just do practice of all these questions and if any of the problem will occur then we will discuss it in the interactive session done so till then thank you so much thanks a lot